Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, just giving you an update on the GT. And so, uh, last time I went down and got all the panels again, as you may know, if you saw the other video. So now the fender and the door are off of a Oxford white car. So now it's a very good match. It doesn't have that bright white door and fender compared to the rest of the car. It's all matching a lot better now. So that was, uh, a good move I think just because in the cost it would have been just to paint one of those panels to match I was able to get another door and fender that were already painted so uh, that worked out pretty well. Now the new door panel came with uh, some ugly purple tint on the window and I had to change over the handle again uh, from the gray that it was this time back to the brown. Uh, you may have seen that I had to do that in the past with the other door panel, so I was kind of repeating myself, but uh, I was able to pull the tint off and switch that handle back over to the brown one on the inside. Now sometimes you can get lucky and peel this down kind of with your fingernail to get it started, and then you can peel it off. And I like to kind of go in a side-to-side -side motion like this as you're peeling, and that keeps it from tearing. You want to be pulling right at the base here. So that way, and that way. You could get lucky that way. Okay guys, a little more progress here. Uh, the new door that I put on, um, once I got into it, I turned the car on and uh, I noticed that there wasn't any sound coming out of the speaker. So I looked at the harness and it had been jacked into and jerry-rigged and all that kind of crap. So since I had a spare door and a spare harness, I pulled the harness all the way out of the door and replaced it with the new one. Now this looks a little messy at first, but it really wasn't that bad. These are the two plugs that I already knew how to unplug that are up here, you know, up kind of right there on the firewall, basically right here, but on the inside of the car. I already knew how to unplug those and followed them all the way through and uh, it really wasn't too bad. Uh, this harness starts here over on the door lock actuator and it just goes all the way through here. I just followed it there. I had to unplug it uh, right here for the window motor. I had to unplug it here for the power mirror and um, if you had Mach 460, it would also have a plug there, or at least wires going there. And so basically I just took the speaker out, unplugged it where the speaker is, and then it all just attaches in there. So it really was not that bad just to remove one harness and replace it with the other. So here's where it plugged in under the dash, comes through the door, that's where they tapped into it. But you know, Basically, when it's all laid out, it's really not that bad. You have your window switches too. But it's all just one harness, and as long as you can just unplug it as you go along, then you're good to go. So uh, that was the easiest and cleanest way, rather than figure out the wiring and change wiring and have redone wiring and all this, all I decided to do instead was just swap the entire harness over. So it really didn't take me that long. And now that speaker works and I'm ready to put my door panel back on. And uh, I was also able to find the steering wheel, so I'll show you here, and I just made a video on pulling the steering wheel if you haven't done that before. You can really see how chewed up that old steering wheel was. It was really no fun to drive the car that way. But here's the new steering wheel, and that makes quite a difference just to have the, the stock steering wheel back without it being all torn up. So uh, it really brings me back to when I first got the car. I did source a new pair of seats and so I'm looking at getting those. That should be, you know, I was gonna go down today and get them but uh, it's off of a parts car and the owner doesn't have the key with the car where it is. He's in Texas and the seats are in California. So he has to mail the uh, key to his brother-in-law then I'll be able to go down and get them out of the car. Uh, also have a new pair of tail lights to put on here. Okay, so we got our compressed air, we took the tail lights out, we're going to just kind of spray to get as much of this out as we can. And then the inside's pretty bad as well. my 
breath there. <laughs> okay, so we got a nice microfiber here wet and just getting as much of this dirt as we can out that was caked in behind the tail lights, and especially up in here in the trunk area, you can see it was pretty bad there. So I'm just gonna take some time here to try to get as much of this junk out as we can and then put the new tail lights back in. Okay, so we got the new tail lights in and it made a, a real nice difference. They're pretty clean. Here's one of the old ones so that you can see. If you look closely up into it, you can see all the black from the chrome flaking off. That happens when moisture gets in behind the tail light. And this tail light was always doing that even 10 years ago when I owned the car for the first time. But you can see even in here by the reverse light, uh, all the black that's, you know, as the chrome's missing. So the tail lights really are adding to the car really nice. We got uh, everything cleaned out behind here real well with this uh, microfiber towel as we had the tail lights out. So slowly we're just uh, making some nice progress with it and cleaning it up. And now that new wing's on as we did, I think, in the last episode. But so that matches up again. I'm very excited. The car's uh, coming along now. I'm going to start taking some of these stickers off the back of it and and everything like that. But uh, otherwise, it still runs really well. Uh, I did notice that the pinion seal is leaking. I don't know if you'll see it on here, but uh, it's getting the diff all oily and it's even dropping in the driveway. So. I ordered a new seal for that, the new pinion seal, and I really don't like just changing the seal because uh, the crush sleeve is a one-time thing as you'll see in my gear install videos. So if you uh, pull the pinion nut off the front and then you put the pinion nut, nut right back where it was, is you know pretty much tight back where it was, you can usually get away with changing the seal out that way, but the proper way would be pulling the entire gears out and putting a new crush sleeve in and all that. So we'll still give it a shot uh, just because this has stock 327s. And so if uh, it doesn't work out, then I can do a full gear install on it. Uh, did that on the Mach 1 already, which you can see the videos for. And so anyway, we'll just do that, see if we can fix that uh, pinion seal from leaking in the, out of the front. Anyway, uh, I'll keep you posted as we keep moving forward. Uh, really, really enjoying the smell of this car now with that new carpet in there, as you saw in the last video. And so that new carpet and floor mats uh, just changes the whole car. When you get in it, you can smell it. And now that we have a good steering wheel on there, that's also making a big difference. So yeah, as I said, next will be the seats. As you can see, these are torn up pretty bad. And uh, we'll go from there. As you can see, there's huge rocks in here for probably driving down a dirt road. And so the only real way to get them out is to pull the bumper away like this. There we go, look at the size of that. <laughs> it's obviously didn't go through the front of it and there's a lot more here. It's a poor car. Now earlier that day my twin brother came and got me real early in the morning and asked me if he wanted to take the Cobras out and we do that all the time and it was really nice to kind of get away from the project for a minute as well and spend some time together talking and enjoying the cars that uh, don't need any work. Now to end the video here I'll show you some trunk clean out as we went through the contents that were in the trunk. I'm not sure if everybody wanted to sit through that part so I did keep it for the end of the video here. So if you want to keep watching, uh, enjoy. Now this was also before we had put the new taillights in and cleaned it all, so it's still pretty messy back there. Okay, so there's a saying that you can know a lot about a woman by the contents of her purse. And the same about what's in the trunk of a car. So, we've got some Rockford Fosgate uh, speakers here that he had, some kind of a life 
like a med kit type thing. <laughs> Some old pay stubs, so I have his address and everything like that. Old safety inspection. A uh, car jack instructions which came to the car. And I thought this is interesting because this is a 2001. And if you look close, that looks like an 01 Cobra. 01 Cobra wheels, everything like that. But the wing looks like the Terminator wing. So I don't know if they knew something that was coming that we didn't. So anyway, more certi certifications, certifications for this guy. Yeah, State Farm packet, spare tire, some cold, you know, windshield sprayer. A little concerned because these almost look like cylinder head bolts. <laughs> Been finding those all over the place. This is the front lip to the car. Kind of like the chin spoiler for the G GT that's back in behind the bumper. A bunch of trash over here. The trashed, line, the, uh, trashed liner, it's gone and broken into a million pieces. Extra speaker wire and some jumper cables. So at least got some jumper cables out of the deal. So anyway, that's uh, what we found in the trunk. Also some cheap Sony Explode amp and then some wires. Look at how ghetto. These are just wire nutted together. Just chilling back here. So I'm gonna take these off and cap them off properly. This side, Jerry rigged as well into the stock system. This is not a Mach 460 audio car. So just regular speakers here, so at least it's somewhat simple. Okay, so next time hopefully we'll have this new pinion seal done and a new set of seats installed. And I'll keep you up to date on that video if we travel for that and uh, let you know if anything happens along the way. Thanks for watching.